السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ہمارا آج سیونتھ پارٹ ہے لیسن کا نام دا ڈیری فرام دا ڈیری آف یگ اس کو اینی فرینک نے لکھا ہے آج ہم ڈسکس کریں گے ٹیکسچول کوشچنز جو کہ لیسن کے اینڈ پہ دیے ہوئے ہیں آپ کے ٹیکسٹ بک پہ کوشچن نمبر ون ہے واز اینی رائٹ وین شی سیٹ دیٹ دا ورلڈ وڈ ناٹ بی انٹرسٹنگ ان دا میوزنگ آف اے تھرٹین ایئر اولڈ اسکول گرل اس کوشچن کے جواب میں ہم لکھیں گے نو اینی واز ناٹ رائٹ وین شی سیٹ دیٹ دا ورلڈ وڈ ناٹ بی انٹرسٹیڈ ان دا میوزنگ آف اے تھرٹین ایئر اولڈ School Girl. Her diary was published under the name The Diary of a Young Girl. It was translated from its original Dutch into many languages and it became one of the world's most widely read books. There have also been several films, television and theatrical productions and even an opera based on the diary. It was described as the work of a mature and insightful mind. It provides an intimate examination of, la- of life under Nazi occupation. Anne Frank became one of the most renowned and discussed of the Holocaust. وکٹمس اس کے بعد کوشچن نمبر ٹو ہے ان وچ لینگویج واز دا ڈائری آف اینی فرینک اوریجنلی ریٹن اس کا سیدھا سادہ آنسر دا ڈائری آف اینی فرینک واز اوریجنلی ریٹن ان ڈچ لینگویج اینڈ اٹ واز ایونچولی ٹرانسلیٹڈ ان ٹو مینی لینگویجز اس کے بعد کوشچن نمبر تین وائی ڈز اینی نیڈ ٹو گیو اے بریپ اسکیچ آف ہر فیملی اور اس کوشچن کے جواب میں ہم لکھیں گے And he gave a brief, brief sketch of her family since no one would understand a word of her story to her diary if she were to plunge right in. She therefore wrote a brief sketch of her life even though she disliked doing so. She treated Kitty as an insider because she called it her best friend and was ready to confide in it. Then question number four. How does Annie feel about her father? her grandmother mr cupris and Ms. mr kissing what do these tell you about her and some looking and he felt that her father was the most adorable father she had ever seen and he remembered her grandfather even after her death she wrote in her diary that no one knew how often she thought of her grandmother and still loved her in her in the sixth form at the montessori nursery schools her teacher uh, was miss kipris who was also the, the headmistress at the end of the year they were both in tears as they said a heartbreaking farewell to each other mr kissing was her maths teacher he was annoyed with her because she talked too much however any was able to justify her talkative nature every time she was punished by mr kissing on each occasion she uh, he was impressed by the manner in which she presented her arguments all these incidents show that um, how lovable and smart and he was everybody was attached to her and even mr kissing could not help but laugh at her as he is and acknowledge her smart mind and then question number 5 what does any write in her first essay in her first essay titled a chatterbox and he wanted to come up with convincing arguments to prove that necessity of talking she began thinking about the subject she wrote three pages and was satisfied she argued that talking was a student straight and that she would not would do her best to keep it under control she further wrote that she would never be able to cure herself of the habit since her mother talked as much as she did there was not much that could be done about inherited traits mr kissing too had a good law of reading her arguments then we have question number six and he says teachers are the most unpredictable is mr kissing unpredictable how or is he answer me looking and he frank felt that a quarter of her class was dumb and should be kept back and not promoted to the next class however she also felt that teachers were the most unpredictable creatures on the earth Mr. Kissing could be termed as unpredictable the way Annie always talked while the class was going on. Any teacher would lose his temper. However, after several warnings, all Mr. Kissing did was to assign her extra homework. She had to write an essay on a chatterbox. In this way, he tried to play a joke on her. Each time that he asked her to write such essays, she wrote very well. She kept countering his jokes. One could not have predicted it. that he would take all the jokes in the right spirit finally he accepted her talk at you nature and actually allowed her to talk in class he did not even assign her any more extra homework that's that's why it can be said that 
मिस्टर किसिंग वॉज अनप्रडिक्टेबल उसके बाद आपका लैंग्वेज वर्क है इसमें आप फ्रेजल वर्ब्स और ये कंपाउंड वर्ड्स देखेंगे उसके बाद ईडियम्स देखेंगे और ये उसके बाद पर्सनल प्रोनाउम्स के बारे में थोड़ा बहुत दिया हुआ है और ये इनको आप देखेंगे खुद और आज के लिए हमारा ये क्लास ये भी ख़त्म हो रहा है और अगले लेसन में मिलते हैं इन लॉन्ग वॉक टू फ्रीडम पे तो थैंक यू डियर स्टूडेंट्स हैव अ नाइस डे